Yep. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna give <laughs> the intro of this video for real. I'm gonna give this shit maybe two minutes because that's how important it is to me. Two minutes. There's a fucking uproar on these forums and fragcom and all this other bullshit. And it's hysterical to me. Because this is the biggest first world problem bullshit that I've ever seen. Dudes is really mad over scented water and people's opinion, opinion on scented water. Let me ask you something real quick. Did I tell you, yo, you need to get this right now or I'm going to kill your firstborn? No. Do I ever tell you, you need to get this immediately? No. Do I give a fuck if you buy it or no? No. I'm an entertainer. I do this shit for fun. To entertain and slightly educate and maybe, maybe take that fucking boredom cycling bin that we call life. If this shit is that serious to you, you doing good in life. You ain't got real problems. If this whole frag come, this one did that, and this one's a snitch, and this one's lying, and uh, shut the fuck up. Do me a favor. Watch YouTube. Enjoy your time. Think about something that you might potentially want to get that we talk about. Cuba says that shit is dope. This one says that shit is whack. Guess who's the final determining factor? You asshole, go get a sample. Don't buy a bottle. Or if you don't, don't fucking buy it. Where's the complexity here? That's been over two minutes. I'm done. Let's go back to my regularly scheduled nonsense. It's hot as fuck right now. It's like 95 degrees in New York City. Mother Nature said, you know what, Cuba? You been bitching way too much about this cold weather. Here's 95, here's some humidity, and I hope your balls sweat extra. Luckily, the fragrance that I got to you brings a little bit of uh, summer love, and it's been talked about by 500 people, but, you know, make it 501. So let's roll my motherfucking music and see what the fuck I'm talking about. Some crybabies. You sexy motherfucker. We're all alone. 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 Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Summer, summer, summer time. Ooh, it's hot as fuck. I know I've used that song like three or four times, but that's like the summer anthem. That one, along with um, Jay-Z's Big Pimpin' also, is kind of like a summer staple in my head. Pim, 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 pim. That shit, I'm like, I'm ready. I'm ready for a rooftop anywhere. ASAP. Luckily, the fragrance that I got today, I'm gonna be able to wear to top summertime vibe if you can find this shit. I actually found it pretty quick on Fragrance X. They might have it, it probably sold out, so you already know what the fragrance that I'm probably talking about is. Ferrari Radiant Bergamot. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I got a few of these Ferrari shits because you know the homie Chad be blessing the kid with the Ferrari joints. He didn't bless me with this one, but I did hear about it from Chad in the beginning. But now everybody's been jumping on the bad wagon. Let me be a little bitch and jump on the bad wagon too. Realistically, why I did, I bought it. One, it's cheap as fuck and Ferrari fragrances tend to be cheap and good from what I tried out. These shits, this is the only car maker that I think be making some decent shit. And they're cheap. You can't be mad at cheap. It's a heavy duty bottle, it's cool presentation, nice little leather accents trying to give you the Ferrari vibe. I ain't getting a Ferrari no time soon, but might as well fake the funk on a nasty dunk with the fragrance. This shit is nice though. I don't think it's crazy fire, but it's fucking nice. It, it smells like a little minty alcoholic beverage. Very citrusy, nice, vibrant, energizing. Definitely feels some, some mint present though. It's got a little spice to it. It's got a little, yeah, 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 you know, titty shaking. It smells a little dirty. The mintiness smells like a, it actually smells like a pretty decently fresh mint pulled out of the ground because it has a little dirty soil vibe to it. Yeah, it's good. It's good, especially for the price. It's very good, but I don't think it's fucking out, outstanding. I think it's good. I think it's very good. I think it's better than fucking Bright Neroli. Oh. I know a bunch of y'all may like Bright Neroli. You know how I feel about Neroli. Me and Neroli, mm -mm. don't mesh. I don't want to smell like my kid. 
Radium Bergamot. On a scale of one to 10, I give this shit a solid 6.95. I think it's definitely very decent. I like the mintiness. It has a little, not mojito vibe, but kind of, sort of mojito adjacent because of that prominent mint that I'm smelling, the mint and citrus. It's like freshly squeezed, rimmed out. This one's good, but it doesn't drive me crazy. I can understand why it's sold out. You know, to somebody else, this shit might smell like a million dollars. Nah, don't pay more than the four. Wait, be patient. I know it's sold out in my websites. Put yourself on a notify list if you need this shit in your life. Just get a sample. I'm sure there's samples everywhere of this shit now. See if it works out for you, test it out. If you like it, get a whole bottle, put yourself on a notify list. Don't go and pay seven times the value of this shit. This ain't a stock, all right? You'll be chilling. But all in all, for a summer freshy, minty, nice, citrusy, I think it's cool. I think it's a solid, solid fragrance. Ferrari's still making hits. This one, is it worth the hype? Mm, I guess, I mean, to somebody. It ain't to me. That's just my opinion. You could do with the shit as you please before I start getting screamed on like, ah, yeah, yeah. shut up. Is it a ball sprayer? It's a partial ball sprayer. The reason why I'm saying partial, at the price point that it is, it is a good fragrance. If you can get it at the real price point. I got it at, I think with tax, it was like 40. So yes, ball worthy. We'll test this shit out. Let me know what y'all motherfuckers think. And this was quick, simple, to the point. Nothing complicated. We got enough complications in our life, clearly. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and the testicles. I'm here to entertain you motherfuckers and make you laugh. Anything else is uncivilized. I check you bitches out next time. You know who it is. It's your boy. Smooches. Hello. Who the fly gun holder, money folder, Mona roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse sweet on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>